Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some of my favorite UI UX tools, which I'm currently using on a day to day basis. So let's get started with the very first one, which is Figma, of course. Now, as you may know, I've been a Sketch user and also Adobe XD user for many, many years. But recently, I really fell in love with Figma. And the main reason is that it enables you to collaborate with teams very easily as well as making design workflows uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Now, I won't go into all the details of why I use Figma, but uh, I essentially use Figma for everything nowadays. So both for the actual designs and also creating uh, prototypes and brainstorming ideas, user flows, all of that. Um, another great tool for user flows, for example, or creating like a um, in show wire flows is whimsical, but um, I managed to found uh, really good ways to create uh, uh, those also with Figma. So I'm probably going to share that uh, in a future video. But now let's go on to the very next software, which is Notion. And uh, I'm using it uh, pretty much daily nowadays. And by the way, but just before we go into the details of Notion, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design where basically I'm sharing my decade of experience and uh, tips and advice that I wanted to receive when I first started out in this field over 10 years ago. And uh, you're also going to receive uh, uh, free source files and freebies uh, on top of that. Now, let's go back to Notion. And the reason why I really like Notion is that it enables you to have uh, sort of a Google Docs, but more organized and more easy to use. Now, there is a learning curve at the beginning when it comes to Notion. So it's not one of the software that you jump right into it and you're going to understand everything immediately. But uh, I would say that uh, the learning curve is not really steep. Uh, and when once you get uh, the hang of it, uh, it's just going to make your life so much easier. And um, yeah, it's really been a game changer when it comes uh, to organizing files. Uh, and uh, it's really good also for collaborating since a lot of it uh, is uh, not 100% uh, real time, but almost. So there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, good collaboration features, uh, meaning that uh, it's it's really easy to collaborate with uh, teams remotely. And as you may know, I work full time for a company and I'm working 100% remotely with uh, people from all around the world, pretty much, uh, mainly in the US and in India. But um, yeah, Notion really makes it easy to collaborate together. And since I work 100% remotely, another great tool which uh, I use, uh, maybe not on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, on a weekly basis is Loom. And uh, what Loom uh, enables you to do is to essentially create uh, videos uh, in a very fast way. So usually the way that you have to create videos in the past uh, is that uh, you have to like record it, then maybe put it into a, a video editing uh, uh, software that uh, you have to export the video and manually send it over and upload it and all that. But with Loom, all of that pain is gone because you can simply install a Chrome extension or the uh, desktop app and you simply log in, click on uh, uh, record, you record uh, your screen and uh, this can be your screen with the video or without the video. And uh, then you press uh, on a uh, um, pause, which is essentially like the ending. And uh, it's going to automatically up update uh, and upload uh, everything on the cloud. And it's going to give you a, a shareable link. Uh, and uh, you just have to share that link. Uh, and uh, the other person is going to receive the video and see it. Uh, and it uploads really fast. So it's it's amazing. I mean, it, it really makes uh, video recording and screen sharing uh, uh, pain free. So really, really cool tool that uh, I would highly recommend you to check out. It's going to save you tons and tons of time. Now, another tool which I use quite often is the Google Suite. And uh, I myself I have a subscription, but uh, most of it, uh, I would say, is just a uh, Gmail. So good old uh, email, uh, it's, <laughs> you really can, uh, cannot get uh, around it too much in this field or in any field, I guess, uh, pretty much. And uh, on top of that, you also have uh, Docs, uh, Google Sheets, uh, and uh, all of those uh, 
uh, basic files uh, which um, I tend to use but not as often uh, as uh, Notion files for example or Jira files so definitely um, something that uh, is good to have uh, you um, I, I definitely use them uh, quite a while but not uh, as often as uh, other softwares now the very next uh, uh, software which I use uh, is uh, Todoist and uh, the reason why I like Todoist uh, I, I cannot really explain why but uh, just uh, I, re I really like to put uh, just my top uh, to-do items uh, in Todoist uh, for the day or even for like the upcoming days so I keep it really lean um, if there is uh, anything which is uh, really articulate uh, or that needs uh, a lot of explanation I would usually use Notion for that but when it comes to reminding my top priority goals and my high level goals, um, to do this just uh, really works for me. So uh, I really like this app. I, I think uh, it's just a matter of personal preference when it comes to to do list uh, and uh, the way that you like to manage uh, your workflow but um, for some reason I started to use Todoist when I, when I was a freelancer working for uh, a lot of different clients and uh, the way I like to, to, to basically structure my to-do list uh, is to have uh, the name of the client then what I have to do and I would also assign a time limit to that uh, um, to that specific task uh, because uh, it enabled me to go through the day and understand how much time should I allocate uh, to each and every um, project uh, and uh, it uh, really enabled me to have clarity because um, especially if you see a lot of to-do items but you don't see a time frame attached to it you might think oh maybe this is going to take like several hours well in reality you know maybe this is going to take maybe like half an hour or one hour at max it just gives you clarity as to how much work you can take and uh, uh, how you should structure your days so really cool app which i recommend you and uh, yeah this would be pretty much it when it comes to the main ui ux tools which i use pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis but now i'm curious about uh, what uh, are the apps that you are currently using so feel free to, to leave them in the comment section below and explain why you like uh, using them by the way if you're interested in more about uh, ui ux design i have an entire channel with over 500 videos sharing my experience working as ui ux designer and uh, um, again i'll uh, <laughs> this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.